morning everyone it's a early start to the day here in city of crete it's around 5 50 a.m and we got up this early because we're getting on a ferry that ferry over there blue star ferries and we're heading to an island called carpathos it leaves at 6 25. i think that's the biggest ferry we've ever gotten on yeah it looks very big almost like a cruise ship <laughs> Yeah, the, the ones that we got on last time around the Cyclades weren't that big. So we bought the tickets just now, 17 euros 50 per person. I think it takes about three hours to get there, not too far. We've got the escalator to go in. I think some of the ones that we got on last time also had the escalator. That looks pretty fancy in here. Hey, Lena. have a nice day. Hello. So we're heading out of here now. That city back there, you can see it a bit better now, now that it's lighter. So we actually stayed at a hotel right here. So it's just like a one minute walk. So that was convenient since we had to get up so early. Quite a nice place, we didn't film here. There's a nice harbor area over there. Lots of nice places to eat. Wow, look at that ship there. Super rusty. So the ferry has everything that you'd expect. The second floor was a bunch of dorms where people sleep. I think this ferry might come from Athens, so some people come a very far distance. Also has restaurants and cafes, quite a few of those. The sunrise is around 6.25, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna be getting any sunrise today with this weather. Stop number one, our only stop before we go to Carpathos. This island is called Kazos, a tiny island right next to Carpathos. Yeah, this main area here looks nice. Nice little church over there. Probably not a touristy island. Never actually heard of it before, Kazos Island. Waking up now? Yeah, <laughs> only now. Carol always naps. I can never nap once I'm awake. Uh, that'll help. Coffee? Yeah, coffee and a cheese uh, something snack. Like a cheese sandwich thing. Not even a sandwich, I don't know what that is. Like a pastry thing? Yeah. The chairs are really good here though. Really comfortable. I like it when they have this part sticking out so you can kind of rest your head on the side. Quite a lot of leg room as well. A lot of space I was able to do some editing. A lot of the times on planes, the chair is a bit too close for me to edit. But yeah, there's a good amount of space. made it to Carpathos now so we're right in the main town here which is where we're staying I like the look of it already looks like a very mountainous place especially this part that looks really cool with the rocks above the hotels this is one of those places that we're coming to but we don't really know anything about it we don't really know what's here either it's kind of like a spontaneous decision to spend a few days on this island but I think our check-in is only in like two hours. Yeah, and uh, the owner is not replying <laughs> to our messages, so we don't know, maybe we won't be able to check in earlier. Maybe we'll have to just go to a cafe or something. Just yeah, to and wait time. it out. Yeah. So this island is part of the Dodecanese Islands that we've been to one island before called Castello Rizzo which was actually a day trip from Turkey when we were in Turkey 
and it's the second biggest island in the uh, Dodecanese. A lot of them are tiny. The biggest one is Rhodes. That's the most famous one too, that we're also planning to visit. As usual, loads of nice places to eat right on the seafront with some great views. Might end up eating there. I sent a message to the guy at the hotel, but he's just not replying on booking.com. So we're just gonna go to the address now and see if there's someone there. So it's supposed to be just around here somewhere, right near the, the harbor area. Well, that went a lot smoother than we expected. We got here and there's like a store below the place that we're staying here. And the owner was there already, so, yep, that was good. And we yeah. got an early check-in. Nice place. Yeah, it looks spacious. This was a Carol find once again, $42 a night. The kitchen area looks pretty good. And then, whoa, that's a big bathroom. Even got an ironing board. <laughs> we barely ever get an ironing board anyway. Yeah, nice big bathroom though. And it's two bedroom, isn't it? Yeah, one for you and one for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two single beds there. Little TV. I like the colors too. Blue. And then this is my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Not Carol's. Yeah, this is the double bed. Yeah, very nice girl. And then we have this little balcony area. Cute little balcony. Yeah. There's a, a nice view of the church here. Oh yeah. Yeah, I really like this place already. I think I'll be sitting here a few times. the next day now the weather is absolutely beautiful now so we decided to explore this little town of Carpathos in the nice weather so even on a nice sunny day it still seems quiet lots of souvenir shops though so I imagine it does get touristy here that's nice the the Greek plates nice designs Bye. This bag. Summer in Greece makes me happy. Definitely. Look at this for a nice little alleyway. I think it's the first time that I see a boat on an alleyway in Greece. An old little boat right in the middle. And right on the main street, got another really cool alleyway. Super colorful. Also very different to the alleyways that we've seen in other places. Got a really nice Big beautiful yellow building here. On Google Maps it says that it's a archaeological museum. Don't seem to be open right now though. The doors are closed. And the cool thing about the main town where the ferry arrives is that there's some huge beaches already. I mean going all the way down there that's all beach. I don't know if it's all the same beach. A lot of islands that we've been to in Greece they don't usually have huge beaches right near the port area. I think we've only ever seen tiny beaches. Some don't have any beaches at all near the ports. So maybe there's more tourists staying around here and not in town since tourists like the beaches, right? You can see some huge hotels around here. There's no hotels really like that in the main village, just the old traditional houses.
So we're not actually wearing our swimwear right now because when we looked online at the weather forecast it showed some crazy amount of wind and there was even like a warning like a yellow warning we never usually see a wind warning online right now here though it's uh it's warm it's not bad at all but we thought it was going to be too cold for the beach guess it depends where the wind's hitting we're going to go and get a bite to eat though either way lunch this might be the cutest little restaurant that we've seen so far yellow and green never get tired of greek food no <laughs> We found a really nice place to eat, as usual, right on the seafront, as usual also. But here we got the cool mountain views. So I read online that this is actually a place for hiking. Apparently there's like 50 hikes mapped out around here. So you can do hiking if you want. And I think I'm going to go for that feta honey with crust that we really liked the other day for starters instead of the saganaki. And are you getting fish again? Yeah. Feel it? Yeah, maybe I'll get fish this time. Get lamb chops 16.90, pork chops 12.90. I think pork's always cheap around here. Chicken tooth, euros 11.90. Carol's tuna is 16.90, and I might go for this fresh sea bass 17.90. All the restaurants that we checked here were actually a bit more expensive, it seemed. Yeah, and uh, also the supermarket is more expensive than the ones in, Gre in Crete. And I think it's just because of the transportation cost. Yeah, since it's a bit of a more like secluded island. Yeah. <laughs> Here it is, our new favorite appetizer. It's so good. Mm. It really is so good, with the honey especially. This is my first time having sea bream on this trip. It's got like mustard sauce on top, the nice chunky chips too. I've already had a bite, so yeah, it's really tasty. Nice portion. I think this is the most tuna I've ever seen you eat. I really like it, and it's always fresh, so perfect. that cost 52 euros but I also had a tea and a yogurt for dessert I think Greece is the only place that we've been eating where we get starters the main course and dessert in a lot of places we just get the main course and that's it but since I like the starters and uh, desserts here so much we get all three in less touristy places we've eaten that amount of food probably for around 35 euros so I think that's around as expensive as it gets. I know for a lot of like Western countries, US and um, other places in Europe, that's still quite cheap though. And uh, we're just going on a quick walk around the coast. Wanted to get to that church up there. I don't know if we're going the right way though, because it's up there and I don't see any steps. I guess we can walk to the end and see. Is it a dead end? Yeah, basically, yeah. I think that there was a a path but it's just destroyed no i don't think there was ever a path there <laughs> oh that that thing yeah <laughs> okay maybe yeah i'm not going over there so these were the steps that we were supposed to go on we ended up walking down there and carol almost chose this place to stay here dolphin I think it was around $60 a night, so more expensive than ours, but yeah, that's not bad because look at the view that you get. You're obviously paying for this view, a lot better view than ours. I guess 
That might be the name in Greek. Oh no, please close the door. Maybe it's just saying that. This is the wind that was predicted. <laughs> yeah, now it is pretty strong. <laughs> yeah, it's picking up. Still not that cold though, it's nice and warm. Nice little church. We saw this when we were arriving because we, we passed this way with the red domes. I think only in Mykonos we saw churches with red domes. And this one is a cemetery. I didn't realize it was a cemetery when we were on the, the ferry. Certainly a nice place to be buried though, out here. And there's also another one that's over there. We're trying to get to that one. Seems to be a viewpoint with a flag. These are those rocks that we could see at the start above the town. I don't know if this is really a proper pathway though. There's a gate here, we'll see. So the population here is really low. I saw in like 2015, it was around six, 7,000 people. But the island isn't really that small. I mean, to drive from one side to the other, I think, um, yeah, it's around two hours. So it's not tiny, but just not that many people live on the island. Yeah, I don't know where we're going. I think we could probably make our way up here. On Google Maps it actually shows that there's an Acropolis there. We can see the base of some historic structures. But the reviews also say there's not much there to see anymore, is there? No, no, I think it's all in ruins, like like nothing almost. <laughs> yeah. We can see from here. So we just came over those hills there. And that second church is down here. So I don't know how you're supposed to get there. The path wasn't from this side. Ah, there's some steps here. I guess there were some other steps that we didn't see. Anyway, I don't think we can get there from down here, but we can get to the flag at least. Yeah. <laughs> the mission was half a success. I oh, know, I think it's kind of fenced off. Nice views of the town. Though. So we're completing the mission of going to the second little church because it's probably the easiest way to get back down. I have no idea where these steps were. It looks almost identical to the other one that we just visited. I'm not sure if it's open. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, this place is extra tiny. Anyone know who that is? Angel. More angels. Looks freshly painted, the uh, painting here on the wall. So basically everywhere that you go in Greece, you find these little churches scattered around like this. I read that in the past, even each family, I think, would have their own little church, chapel. So I think that's why you have so many scattered around. People had like their own personal place of worship. Nice views. Yeah. Very nice green.
so we're heading back to the main area of town now we're gonna stop by some car rental places because over the next two days we're gonna rent a car to explore the island properly visit some of the best locations on the island so we're going on the back roads now so so quiet though many other places just seem abandoned even these places look new though some new apartments I think it's just uh, that we are in the very beginning of the season. It's not the season yet, but like the restaurant that we ate today, the lady said that they just opened up like uh, three days ago for the season. So they're still getting things ready and maybe that's why it's kind of empty right now. Yeah, I think only the really popular islands like Crete, Santorini, Mykonos will still have quite a lot of tourists right now. Yeah, yeah. But I remember last year at the same time we were in Santorini and it wasn't that busy. Yeah, obviously Santorini wasn't like this though, but I think after Santorini we went to a place called Milos Yeah, and it was just super quiet, like there was nobody really around So if you go to any of the islands that are more off the beaten path, it's gonna be basically empty No way there is a place with bubble tea Our addiction in Asia Are we going for it? Yeah, I think so Yeah, I got to So it turns out that it's a different kind of bubble tea. I don't think it's actually tea. It's like some syrup thing. It has the bubble balls though. So I got a mango, like three euros. Yours is pomegranate. No, strawberry with a blueberry, a bu boba. Bubbles. Uh, bubble, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that is completely different to Asia. It's not even proper bubble. It's not the tapioca bubble, is it? No, it's some jelly thing. <laughs> has like liquid inside. Yeah, not what we were expecting. <laughs> yeah, disappointed in this. It's like uh, some syrup juice. Absolutely nothing like the Asian bubble tea. So we're back at the apartment now. Carol's enjoying a, a wine on the balcony. Greek wine? Yes. How much was that one? Uh, around five, five euros, I think. Five or six. But you can even get wine around here for like two, three euros. Yeah, usually, yes, I can in other islands, but I think here, since, like we said, the transportation costs, it, things are a bit more expensive, but still very good or a bottle of wine. And we went to the car rental place before, but it was closed. So we just found out that here, the place is open in the morning and then around afternoon, everywhere is closed. So that's why it was so empty before. And then at night, everywhere opens again. So yeah, if you look in the street now, it's not exactly busy. There were more people walking around before. But yeah, you can see down there, there's at least people around. You can hear music too. So there is a bit more going on here, it was just the time that we went out before. I think we're just gonna book the car rental online, we found a site, so yeah, we'll show you what rental car that we got in the next video. Mm -hmm. 